Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make this sheet petal practice model. So this is a 12th model. So I've already uploaded 11 videos in a sheet metal playlist. So you, can, so you can go to the particular playlist and check out all the videos. We also have a drawing for this. You can see here, this is a drawing for this particular uh, you know, model and most of the you know dimensions are given here. This is going to be a flat pattern view and this is you know side view. So we are going to use these dimension and try to create the model. So now let's go to sheet metal uh, workbench. So let me go to new file and uh, select a sheet metal from the welcome window. So here I'm going to select uh, sheet metal and I'll just click OK. So this will take you to you know particular uh, you know sheet metal workbench you can see here this is going to be our uh, sheet metal workbench so here what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketch element on this plane so i'll just click ok now let's go to drawing and see so you can see here this uh, whatever the flat pattern view 165 mm and 180 mm this is going to, i'm going to create and whatever width you can see here 40 mm width that is given here uh, given here so Let's go to you know, sketch element and create a rectangle here. Uh, okay, instead of rectangle, I'm draw the lines here. So this is my first line, and this is my second line, and uh, these center points should be, you know, lying vertically, and whatever this center point should be on this point. Okay. So now uh, you can see the dimensions here. One is 180, and another one is 165. So whatever this dimension, I'll just give it as 165 okay so let me fit this and the other dimension is 180 okay so once this is done uh, and the width is 40 mm so let us give 40 mm 40 mm here so between this to this it should be 40 and from let me move this up and from this to this center line it should be 20 half of the value here okay so once this is done uh, i'm going to draw lines here so these lines i'm going to close it okay so once this is closed you can see here our sketch is fully constrained so we can finish the sketch so once this is done uh, you can see in the drawing it is given as a 1.5 mm as a sheet metal thickness so let's go to tab and select here as a 1.5 mm and select this particular sketch okay so now i'll just click okay so this is done and now you can see here uh, there is an bend here for 60 mm so 30 mm along this side and 30 mm along this side and the bend angle is 100 mm 100 degree so here also it is 100 degree so and you can see here the you know bend radius will be 1.5 mm on all the four sides so we can just just give bend radius as 1.5 mm so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketch element again on this plane and here i'm going to draw two lines okay so this is going to be our bend line so the distance between these two will be 60 and from one edge the distance to this particular coordinate system is 30 so that it will be mirror okay so i don't want to define this uh, length so just keep it i know more from this model and you can just finish the sketch so we need to bend this so for that i'll just go to bend here okay and i'm going to select this particular edge so let me delete uh, deselect these two okay i'm going to select this edge so it should be reversed so let us reverse it and this is also reverse so bottom direction okay so here whatever the angle we have given it is from this side angle so from this side it should be 90 okay so now it is good uh, sorry 80 okay so now it is good from this edge okay so now uh, you can just click okay you can see here it is material inside and then uh, bend radius should be 1.5 so you can just click okay so again the same way we are going to do it for this so i'm going to reverse this okay and this angle is also 80 because this side it is uh, so this side it is 100 mm so this side should be 80 mm so let us give 80 mm here and you can just click okay okay so once this is done uh, you can see here there is an 18 mm of uh, you know distance here so from that uh, we can able to draw it uh, you know line here so i'll just go to sketcher moment on this plane and i'll just click okay 
and here let me draw a line here okay so this line so this line will have an um, length of 18 mm from this edge okay so that's all we can just finish the sketch so similarly i have to do the you know uh, line here so go to sketch again on this plane okay and then here again there will be a line with 18 mm distance okay so from this to this point it is 18 mm okay let us finish the sketch so again we have a two lines here where we need to create a bend so for that again i'll just go to bend uh, sorry here and now i'm going to select this line okay so it should be reversed okay so this time you can see here uh, from the here it is the angle will be measured 80 mm so instead of 80 mm as you can see in the drawing so this is 80 mm from here so from this side it should be 100 mm so let us give 100 mm here 100 degree okay so click apply in the same way i'm going to do it here and you can see now it is exactly 100 you can just click okay so you can see here uh, in the you know side view whatever that uh, you know drawing we have everything is clearly visible okay now we need to give these uh, you know whatever the slots are there available on this model so we are going to give that so how we are going to do so before making a cutout we need to unbend this so go to unbend and select this as a face and this bend and this bend similarly this bend and this bend okay click ok so i'm going to hide these sketches so now let me go to sketch on this plane now okay so on this plane i'm going to create all the sketches that are required here so you can see here all the sketches i'm going to create and you can see here uh, this is a radius of four with the uh, four numbers so let us give circle here this is four radius is four but uh, diameter should be eight okay and the center there will be one more circle with radius of 10 which is a diameter of 20 okay and uh, you can see here the distance here is 12 mm and 20 mm from this side so go to rapid dimension so this is 20 and from this edge along horizontal it is 12 mm okay so now i'm going to make it as a mirror so I'm go to mirror curve and select this curve my center line will be this and click apply and the similar way i'm going to make a mirror for these two along this okay so now all these things are done so we are left with only this slot so slot dimension is go given over here you can see the slot dimension 8 mm uh, width and we have uh, so fillet of a radius of 3 so let us do that now so i'll just go to rectangle and i'm going to create a rectangle here so this width is 8 mm okay and it should be at the center so press c and point on a curve so this center point should be on this curve okay and now the distance from this edge to this center is you can see here 22 mm so let us give 22 here from this edge to sorry i'll delete this and press d again so from this edge to this it is 22 okay and this length is not given in the drawing so let us make it as a 55 okay so now we need to give this uh, fillet here radius of uh, you know three so press f and 3 mm is the radius and keep on selecting these edges okay so let me finish this sorry instead of finishing i need to mirror this uh, entire curve so go to mirror and select this curve my center will be this okay so it comes on this side as well so now that's all we are going to finish this and uh, here i need to remove the material so for that i'll just go to normal cutout and you can see it's been cut okay 
so now we can see here what is left okay so now let us uh, rebend this and give this radius you can see here this is the fillet uh, r5 on all the sides so let me rebend this so this is the bend this is the bend as well as this bend and this bend okay so let me hide this sketch so now we'll go to break corner and give it as 5 mm here these two sides and as well as these two sides okay now i can just click ok so now this model is completed so this is how we can make this model guys so suppose if if you have any doubts please comment in the section below so i will try to answer thank you guys